Welcome to Mylon's Secret Castle. We can't show you everything, but we can guide you with helpful hints and tips. Are you ready? Let's begin. In the first room, go to these three blocks. Take the money from each side block, then push one of them for four seconds. After it slides over, a door for the first shop will appear. You can buy these jumping shoes for less at another shop. Claiming this music box takes you to a bonus round. Catch the sharps and notes. You'll be paid for these. Avoid the flats. They take away from the amount you earn. Look here for the hidden honeycomb. Finding it will fill all your energy blocks and give you an extra one. The right shot in this area may cause a Hudson Bee to appear. You'll have to run and jump quickly to catch it, but it's worth an energy shield. You can strengthen it by adding hearts. In the next room, get a running jump and shoot the two blocks out of the wall. There's a honeycomb hidden behind this block. If you bought the magic potion earlier, take advantage of it by bumping the glove. Shrinking helps you get around easier and makes you a smaller target. Without the potion, bumping the glove saps your energy. Great, you're ready to leave the fourth room and go back to the third. You found the key, and here's the door. It's best to use a joystick equipped with a slow motion mode in this game. You'll find the slow motion feature particularly useful when confronting the demon monsters that separate you from the next levels. As you can see, the only thing to do here is to keep firing and keep moving. It helps to draw a map so you can keep all the rooms of the castle straight. After facing off with the demon monster, this room is a good place to catch your breath and find some money. Another shopping trip. This lamp costs $50 in an earlier shop. Mylon gets it here for $15. Don't miss this honeycomb. The left wall holds this key. The door out of the room is also on the left side. Get ready for this room. You've got some new characters to worry about. Don't waste time. Hurry to the lower screen and bump the glove. Drop down to the bottom right and blast through the end. You'll need this vest in the fire room of the well. Here's where you'll find the door. The well is your next stop. Touch the glove, then start planning your jumps. If you bounce on this spring and shoot at the left wall, you'll find the passageway that takes you to the next room. The best way to handle this octopus is to avoid it. Drop to the bottom of the screen, grab whatever money you can find and run to the right. Welcome to the fire room.
Discovering this trap door seems lucky. Until you see where it leads you. Once a demon monster has been eliminated, grab the crystal ball. Back in the fire room, use your new strength to shoot an octopus with your big bubbles. Once you do, you can fly away in your personal balloon. If Mylon spends too much time searching the ledge, the weather can turn stormy. You can run through an empty chamber to come out on a different level. The wooden window on the far right is your next destination. Another demon monster. And if you're lucky, another crystal ball. It's crucial to have as much energy as possible for this demon monster. Each of its hits will cost you two energy blocks. You got him! You'll have to make your own stairs for this room. Pay attention to the hints in the shops. Later you'll see just how important this hint is. Here's your exit. The money in this room reappears several times. And it's ready for the taking. Power up before meeting the demon monsters. You can stay in one spot and pick off the small demons as they materialize. This is an easy way to collect hearts. The next demon monster is down here, under the fireplace. Shoot the blocks and push one to open the entrance. Good thing your energy levels are filled up. You'll need them. Now you need the water jar. Climb to the ledge and enter through the wall. You can defend yourself better by standing on two blocks of ice. Watch out for the electricity. Touching it won't give you energy, it just takes it away. When you reach ground level, run to the right. Something's waiting for you. The fifth demon monster. Go back to the fireplace and run through the empty chamber. It looks like you've almost made it. But wait a minute, this princess is no lady. Get the scepter. Go in here. There are trap doors all over the castle. To save steps on the tower stairs, try this. The scepter you got earlier has a matching crown. To get it, you must first defeat this demon monster. Once you triumph over the second fake princess and get the crown, you can look for the real princess.
But before you find her, you need the last crystal ball. Now you can enter the throne room. The real princess is hidden on this screen or on one of three others just like it. The screen with the real princess will be different each time you play. You'll have to keep fighting and keep trying. This guard is the last enemy you'll face. Will he destroy you? Or will you end up here? Good luck! Supersonic is the number one bet It's got no wires, it's a one to get Arcade action is where you'll be Supersonic will set you free No wires! It works with Nintendo, it will do Games for players 1 and 2 Higher scores is what you'll see Supersonic will set you free No wires! Supersonic!